Okay, guys. Uh, take it back up where I left off. Uh, once again, I was recording a little bit earlier, and I missed some stuff because I forgot to hit start hitting record on Fraps. So I missed a little thing, a couple things. I just somebody was pissed off about something, so I had to talk to them and made them feel better. And now I'm out trying to find um, some more people to recruit to my little base, my community. And I'm also looking for building material so I can actually build some bunks for people to actually sleep. So I've made it over here and I'm going to talk to somebody here. Maybe um, squatters. Okay, maybe try to find uh, somebody to join. Also, even though you have these other enclaves and stuff and they may not be part of yours, you can still trade with them. They still have things that you can take. Like these guys have the resources are food, medicine, and fuel. So they have medicine. I don't see any fuel or anything like that, but you know, they have that. Let's just talk to these guys, Carlos. One of our people has been gone a while. All right. Come on then. I'll help you track him and down. And he just disappeared. Let's get going. <laughs> what? Just happened there. Apparently Carlos was the one who was missing. Who's this dude? Or is he the one going with me? Okay. So apparently I have to help them find a missing person. Alright, and there's a horde coming in. I'm not too worried about that. As long as I don't run into them. Yeah, people can actually go missing. Even ones who are living with you, they'll be, it'll, this will show up as missing. So you have to go out and find them. And there's a chance if you don't, they may never come back. They may die if you log out. That was another thing I was saying. Uh, whenever you log out of this game, things still happen. Like those, the guys who I'm helping here search for somebody, they th their enclave could collapse. And here's the dude right here. Luckily, hello. Yo. Thank you. Time to go home. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm ready to leave now. All right. So we found this guy, and uh, this should increase your trust with this community right here. And once you get your trust high enough, and then your overall fame, because there's kind of like a fame that you uh, that you get just from doing things like destroying hordes and Thanks. infestations and stuff. Here. Get back in for that horde attacks, you all. Or just bust through the window and let them all go. Oh my god. Okay, pay for their trouble. So they gave us five food and... Uh, what did they give us? Okay, I gained 15 influence, 10 community morale, and 5 food. Okay. That's alright. That's good. Now, I do have this rut cycle full of stuff. Um, I need to take it home because it is building material. There's a golf course. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Oh jeez, missile drop kick. Right. Damn, I'm tired. Edge weapons at level six. That's great. We could probably beef up our defenses just to be safe. Our defenses are fine you for right now. You know what's awesome? Outposts. Yeah, yeah I set up some of them. What are you talking about? Make more outposts. I thought I had them. Oh, okay, I got there's one left. Okay, I can make one more. I believe I was going to make it. Was it here? It was down here someplace. That way it would encircle all the roads. Okay. I'll do that next, but let me go turn in this materials and see if I have enough to build some sleeping quarters. Hey, a truck that isn't brown. How's it going? I'm almost there. Now, I'm not exactly sure. Establishment. Found this while I was out. Damn, I'm tired. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. <laughs> stuff. Do I have enough to make a middle place? I believe I do. I believe that's on. Is this? Yeah, that's on top. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the medical place up there. Okay, I just need to upgrade that. That's going to take 29 minutes to do that. Let me dump this off. Okay, so I've got the 
Medical place in the works. Let's go set up this outpost. There's, I'm not ready to take on another infestation just yet. So that's what that person wants. Let's see what we got in here. I need a breather. Alternatively, if you don't want to bust through the door in these little warehouse or these little storehouses, you can just bust through the window right here. You can get out. Or get in, whichever way you're going. I'm lucky they didn't hear that. Oh, okay. There's a wrench. These are really good, I guess, starter weapons. They have high durability and they weigh hardly anything. Okay. Just some of I'll that. run this home. This should be some gas. Which I'll... Nothing. Okay. Well, I guess it's nothing. Hey, who's this? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm stealing your stuff. <laughs> nah, this is just uh, another enclave. Who are you? Oh, hey. Uh, you didn't sound happy. I'll leave you alone. Okay. Where was... Okay, I'm going the wrong way again. This is a house I want to make into the last outpost. And we'll go from there. Sorry, let me check something for a second. Okay. Harvey's engine is shot. It looks like something was chewing on it. We're going to have to fix it. But this trip is over before it starts. Not enough materials or fuel. So I need five gas and twenty golden box. That's not much. I shouldn't take long to get. Okay. Since I've been getting my ass kicked hey, come here. quite a bit by these guys and having to fight more than I should be, I'm, eventually my luck's going to run out and they're going to get me. So I need to start doing this a little bit more cautiously. Okay, I'm gonna take those. I'm laying down in here. Okay, the music just kicked in, so one of them might be a... Wow, there's a lot just... Yeah, there's one after me. Whoa, that was luck. I just turned around and blindly swung. Oh, Lily is sad. Sorry, Lily. I'll get your RV fixed. Oh! In fact, I can move. Uh-oh, my axe is getting ready to break. Finally! A better backpack. That some bitch. Let's go ahead and destroy it because I've got plenty of those. Yes, your weapons can break. Um, you can leave them in the stash and they'll be repaired overnight if you have a workshop. Bullets, toes. I better take the stick. I don't want my axe to break. Something just came in over the Whoa. radio. Should be on your map. What just what came in? What did I miss? Command center materials located. Oh, okay, that's what I had her look for. So she found some materials for me. That's good. I'll finish ransacking this place and then. I don't, know if I don't get stuck on the wall too much. Whoa. Actually, do my. Oh, just let him get up. Be back for more, and uh, you dead as shit now. I'm oh, dead again, I should say. Okay. And food. I've got too many of these warehouses with food. I'd like to find something that has like medicine. Taken care of. Also, just because you spec into, you know, um, or you choose to specialize in bladed weapons doesn't mean that's all you have to use. I mean, I'm, I'm doing perfectly fine. Where did you freaking come from? Seriously, there, there was nobody there. I, I was there literally a second. I saw nothing. That dude was on me. Don't have everything we need. We can track it down or find another way. 
but it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. Yeah, and from time to time when you're making things, like you're building something, God damn it. you'll uh, run into something like that where you gotta do like go out and find some extra materials and stuff like that. It's no big deal. Pills. And these restore your stamina. Give that and that's all bounce. Run back to my place, dump this off, and get back to find the materials for the Ah shit, I was supposed to make that a outpost. <laughs> Now, if this cane breaks, I don't care. It's a it's a blunt weapon, and I'm not really using it. I mean, I don't care if it breaks them into blade weapons, but hmm. somebody over there. Oh, that's one of the bloated ones. Now they explode when you get near them, and they make you sick. Uh, he's kind of glitched in the wall right now, so I'm not going to worry about him. It's best to shoot those guys from a distance. Even if you run over them with a car, the gas will still hit you and you'll take some periodic damage. Yeah, I think we could hold this place. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pulling the trigger on this outpost. Alright. Okay, there we go. And we still have some of these little... I might move this... I guess I can move it to here. Oh shit, there's the police department. I need to go through that place. I totally forgot about that. Well, first things first. Close that door for no reason. I'm headed home. <laughs> See? That zombie came in through that window, but it didn't shatter. When I first looked at it there a minute ago, I thought it was broken, but you can see it, so... It's little bugs like that, and there's some people fighting over here. And you can see on the map right there, you see some noise. So I'm assuming this enclave has got a zombie or two in here. I'll go help them out. Wow, they're trusted. It's just people. <laughs> I guess he took care of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. Now, if your trust is low with these other enclaves, it takes more than normal influence to withdraw something from their stash. <laughs> oh, that guy looks really cool. Some of the detail in these zombies. I know this game isn't graphically great or anything like that. It's no masterpiece and it's, it's not freaking Crisis or anything like that. But, I mean, the, the detail in the zombies and stuff, it looks good enough to pass. I mean, for what it is, I mean, the style that it, that it chose to play, I mean, it looks I'm good. There. Except they just need to fix all these crap like this. <laughs> Guys. Oh, Shit. I broke my cane. Uh, but I still managed to kick its head off. So, I mean, it, it looks good. I mean, it could always look better. It needs I need disinfectant. <laughs> Found this while I was out. My hero. Okay, I'll just I'll keep the wrench for right now. Okay, you got a good supply of handguns now. Uh, let me go ahead and use these head shears since they are bladed. And keep the trusty frying pan in there. Look at all these but Let's say I should have went, you know, if she's blunt weapons because there's so many of them. And of course, if I went blunt weapons, I'd have nothing but swords in there. Which you can find swords in this. So, unfortunately, there's no katanas, but they're the shorter versions of the katanas. Uh, the the wagashigi or whatever they're called. The short sword. Companion sword. So... Okay, now we're... Okay, right over here. You click this, needs materials, and then it gives you a location to search. Now... So we still got some stuff to take care of out there. It's not... You may need to hurry. ...necessarily... ...there. But if you search the place, and there's no materials there, they'll give you another place to search. It's usually close by. 
Yeah, see so right there, there's like two little green question marks. So. Ah, damn. Turn around, horde. Here comes this guy hauling ass over here. You like my dodge? You like my ride? Whoa. Okay. That was good stuff. Okay, I think the horde. Oh, what's. What's that? There's a lot of noise or something going on over there. What are these guys into now? What? What are they hearing? It's probably gonna get me killed. Oh, there's people fighting over here. I see something. <laughs> Looks like an infestation. It is an infestation, but someone's over here fighting. Our people are in trouble. They need you to bail them out of a jam. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Oh jeez, why did I even get involved in this crap? Get myself killed here. Fuck it. That's what I get. Why did I even help this person? Hey, over here. Yeah, Mackenzie, what the hell are you doing? See, what are you doing here? Could use a hand clearing the area. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go. I hope this is the area you want to clear. Oh no, there's another infestation you want to clear down here. That's a big fat negative. You know what? Nah, I'm not helping you. Piss off. Zed's up ahead. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. I'm going to sit up and do what I plan to do. Freaking sidetrack with your bullshit. See, I hate that. Why are you... Uh, that's why I wish you had a little bit more control over what your NPC's done. Because I wouldn't want them going out and looking for infestations. Better get ready. We'll be on them soon if we keep going this way. <laughs> or maybe you could... I don't know. Just... If you could... Maybe set up a group that and that was their specific job. Was just, Is this dude in the back of my truck? I'll deal with that later. If you could just set like a certain group of people and then you could arm them, you know, give them like guns or, you know, the best weapons you had and say, okay, go hunt infestations in our area. But, and this random person around is like, oh yeah, come help me. I don't know. I guess I can kind of see it. I can kind of see that what they were going for, like, you know, th these people are supposedly scouting. Kind of like you are. You're running around doing things and that's what they're doing as well. But... Scratch that off the wish list. Okay, I believe I... Okay, I found the materials I needed. Great. Move it, Mackenzie. Okay, this place is really searched. I do like how they they made it pretty clear that whenever you do completely search something. Oh, you're going to get in the back of my truck, and then you're going to start beating the shit out of it. There, you got what you deserved. Now, I killed all these in here. Why is this place not considered clean yet? Or cleared? Oh, because of this thing right here? Get up, lady. Oh, she didn't. Mm, there we go. Why is this place considered clean yet? Jeez. Oh! That could be why. Alright. Come on and get it. Alright. Shit. Now that dude over there is a feral druid and they suck. Better keep moving. We got time. Because they're like super fast and they they do this tackle move on you where it's like guaranteed they're gonna take like some of your health. Uh you can dodge it. 
Okay, I got McKenzie with me. We can both take it. But you'll see here in a second. He may hit me. I may be able to dodge it. See, he'll come running. And just a little jump. And he falls on his ass. Yeah, you've got to stay on these guys. Okay, excellent. We, we took him down fairly easy. Um, you can kind of stagger them as you're hitting them. If you can hit him really fast, you'll stagger him. But uh, he'll still just kind of slap you a couple times in there. So it makes him really, really bad to it's fight. On now. How is it on now? we got to clear the infestation out from around the infestation. Or these guys are going to come and attack us from the back. Why did you even pick this? God, woman. Jeez. I swear, if you didn't walk around in a low-cut shirt, your ass would be on the, out there. I'll throw you out to the zombies. But you're easy on the eye, so we're going to let you stay. Nah, I shouldn't say that. Mr. McKenzie has great abilities that, you know, totally make her a seriously good member to the community. As, like, we actually need her around. I'll check that out just a second. See what her abilities are. Oh, wait, was she the drummer? Look, she's out here and she's sick. Yeah, she played the drums. So, yeah, we totally need her in our community because her drum playing... Whoa. Her drum playing is exactly what we need to win the day. I'm gonna eat, eat an apple. I'm gonna throw those. Ah. Through the firecrackers, hopefully it can distract them while we cut them down. How many of these things are I don't know. It was an infestation that you decided we had to freaking kill. Get in here. All right. Good. Good job. Okay. I think I'm ready to head home. Well, you go home now. Don't be a stranger. The guys, they are pretty good at running back home. They'll just they won't stop and fight anything unless they get kind of cornered up. But the zombies, more more often than not, will come and fall them into the base. Okay. Well, I need to take off now. I was talking about fight at the house. See, people are just... See, I lost 15 morale because of that. That's... So, I've been sketching some plans in my spare time, and I think I hit on something. Mm-hmm, that's it. I don't want to name names or anything, but we've got some out-of-shape people around here. <laughs> if we set aside a little space for a training area... Okay, I'm free and clear. See you soon. Okay, I kind of cut off her dialogue, but she was basically saying, build a place for people to train. That way, it increases. It basically just gives Damn, increases stamina. There you go. Don't say I never gave you nothing. My hero. Let me see. Wow, twenty rounds. That's based off. It's, it's called fifty-seven, but that's based off the five-seven pistol. Wow, and it's, it shoots 22 shells? Conversion. Oh, okay, okay. 20 rounds? That's not bad. You know, I'm going to pack that. And uh, I believe I did find a, one of the better silencers. That does 50 shots. This one does 30. I'll save the 50 shot one for later. Just attach it onto my gun. And it is silenced for 30 shots. Give that in case of emergency. Get some words Got of encouragement. For me? I wish I could say I know what you're going through out there. I wish I could be out there, helping out. But all I can do is tell you how proud I am of you. You're kind of a hero, you know? I owe you one. No problem. Okay, was this the, the medical place? Okay, I could have swore I bought, I got the... Did I not get that? Sorry, I, if it's you know confusing y'all. I went to pick up the materials for the medical area, and once you pick them up, yeah, what's it say here? Disinfectant. Once you, you you the way you find those is that they're in a the house and you search it like normal, and just 
during the process of you searching the house, you'll get it. It doesn't show up in your inventory or anything. And it says I need the disinfectant, but... Okay, here we go. I figure, okay, disinfectant. So the other places I searched, I thought I picked it up. Um, it pops up at the top of the right there. And uh, it can be covered up by various things with all the pop-ups up there. So, uh, let's go get some disinfectant. Fat man down. All right. Damn, I'm tired. I give the fat zombies a hard time because they're fat. And uh, I'm fat, so it's okay. Now, is my sports car still parked over here? Yeah. Well. Cardio 3, awesome. Cardio, uh, once you level it up, it has to. I believe you have to be level 7 in order to actually access some of the abilities. See, each of your things. Like, see, I have cardio, wits, fighting, shooting. Those will lead into other specs, other, like, weapons. Like, say, weapon specialization, you know, edge weapons. And now, since I've leveled up my edge weapons, I have special attacks. See, like this right here. I can choose only one of those. A slow attack that automatically decapitates a single target. That's not bad, but it's a really slow attack, and I've never been able to get it to really work when I needed it. This, this attack right here is okay because it'll cut off the zombie's legs and then they're just helpless. Um, another good one here is uh, Rage, which gives you a little bit of stamina back when you kill an enemy. That's alright. And this is one you get for requires shooting 7. Um, increases your concentration. And basically it kind of slows the world down a bit. Uh, Ninja, which basically you can pick all locks and uh, it makes any time you search silent you'll never make any and you move faster while sneaking. It basically makes you you know, a ninja, what ninjas do. And increases weight once you lose stamina in combat. That's pretty good. I use it like on somebody who has like heavy weapons, I'll use it. Uh, marathon increases, it just makes your stamina decrease slower. Um, I didn't find it all that useful. So I just basically either stick with Rage or I use the uh, the one where it decreases your stamina in combat. Because more often than not you're going to be meleeing. You're probably going to be doing more melee than you are shooting. Lady, how did you know I was even in here? Yeah. Zombies and their damn eagle eyes. Oh, out of here. Alright, let's start the search here. In here, hopefully I can find it because I want to get back. trying to sound pretty urgent. I don't know how long our friends can hold out. And time's not exactly on our side, if you know what I mean.